in disbelief. And this happened right at the very end. Let's watch. Rasmus Anderson, he's going to take the puck away. Brady Kachuk's going to go get the puck for the youngster. Gustafson, first win in the National Hockey League. And then Matthew, Matthew shoots Kachuk it away. shoots it down the ice. Hannafin has a few words. Well, Rasmus Anderson is a Swede as well, trying to take away the glory from the youngster. There's a whole bunch of guys in this game that are like that. Can you imagine as an organization when you put your lineup together and you think, okay, I got this guy who can play half a yeah. game for 20 years. You never have to think, you know, it's just such a given that he's going to be not only out there, but so good and so reliable. Uh, Chris Chelios has given Ty Domi the business, as you've seen all throughout their career. And Domi, and Chelios and Domi. <laughs> there was a day when that would have been a vicious fight and oh, a vicious started, battle. Would have started three weeks of fights. Uh, Clock draining down low and hit Kachuk. He goes down, Muzzin's got it, and it's a Maple Leaf win here in Calgary tonight. And now it's Kachuk going after Muzzin. And Muzzin at the very end just kind of flipped the puck towards Matthew Kachuk, and Kachuk didn't like it very much. Well, we had a little extracurricular after the horn on Sunday, and uh, Kachuk was in the middle of it, and a similar circumstance here. And a pretty harmless play, but you know that Muzzin recognized that it was Matthew Kachuk that was there, and you think of the last game and some of the antics that went on, and just right here, look at this, just... Yep. Just a little shot towards him, nothing major, but Kachuk, of course, isn't going to like that. But you think of Frederick Anderson, and you can see Kachuk going off just frustrated. And another battle going on here between Marshawn and Justin Williams. An arm is up for a penalty call against Carolina on the play. And as Marazic plays the puck, the penalty will be called. And Marshawn is goading and baiting Williams. As they went at each other, he's putting a C on his sweater here. The two of them were chirping earlier. He finally had had enough. Got the cross check, no call made there, went back at him. And it's Williams who's the only one who ends up getting a call here. I can understand the frustration. Marshawn signals to go to the bench. And he goaded another one in. He's under their skin and he's ahead, three to nothing. Side call, they're going to call an intentional offside against Vegas. So here's that conversation. Ryan Reeves understands what's going on here. He knows that Roussel's trying to be a thorn in the side of Leonard. He's been jawing verbally with a few other guys. He's going to play a physical game, so he gives him a little tap and lets him know that he's there. And there's a physical play again on Ben on the forecheck. But for Ryan Reeves, he knows his role, and so does Roussel. He'd rather agitate, poke the bear as much as he can, and see if he can't maybe draw a penalty from time to time. We saw him uh, just over a week ago play game three against Chicago, and he was terrific in that game. And Reeves' show. We all know he's been doing it, uh, but now let's listen to him. Sounds of the game with Ryan. Hey, Anthony, that's yours. Yeah, if I'm Roussel, I just got to put the earmuffs in. Ignore him. This is Ryan Reeves' game. He's trying to put you off, off your game here. So the only way that... 10.9 uh... on the clock as Barton drops the puck. And a battle ensues. Suzuki couldn't come up with a puck. Thompson takes it to the boards. He's just trying to eat this and kill some time. Battle for the puck along the boards again. And will it stay there or will it get out front? They work it to the side of the net, to the front of the net. And the Philadelphia Flyers hang on and win the game and the series. Well, this series has had its moments. You think about the end of game five with Gallagher and Niskanen. Now you got some pushing and shoving. And Jim, it was Nate Thompson. Well, here's Sean Avery. Oh, sorry, it wasn't. It was Gatorade, which is stickier, which is worse. Gatorade. Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, Jody Shelley squirted the water first across, and then Sean was, Sean was retaliating. So. If we're going to go with the Gatorade line, he would have had to be squirting it at Bobby Boucher. And control of the puck, and Ty is right into Belfort's ear. Oh, the water bottle just squirted Ty. Ewan, Ewan just squirted him with the water bottle. <laughs> we can have a little fun before this is over. Here they go. Ewan and... 
We got it all covered for you at the Shark Tank. Eddie Belfort sinking foot in his mask now. Here's Bob Airy. Pulls up and fires. Well, this was going on while the play was going. We showed you part of it in that little box. Ty Doming had quite a chat here with Eddie Belfort. Tommy Woodcock, the trainer, is enjoying it as he's getting in here. Well, and there you can see Todd Ewan shot him with a, his water bottle there as they were yapping. And all of that, Scott Sabrin is. Well, I wonder, Shifley apparently thought someone sprayed water on him from the Ottawa bench. And there was a full conversation going on over here in front of me. It was. There it is. So. So Severin gets a misconduct. Well, he, while Shifley was in on the partial breakaway, you see me in the background there on the mute button. There, was some, there were some words <laughs> being used. Some salty language being used. <laughs> <laughs> but Severin and, and Blake Wheeler were tied up as well. And then that's where Chris Rooney stepped in and said, I've had enough. It's too many men on the ice. Houghton centers. Lemieux shoots. Saved by Miller. Wow. Rangers have had some great chances in this game. Stick of Lundestrom swept out by Houghton behind the play. Lemieux was challenged actually, by Holzer. Uh, no, actually what happened was oh Lemieux challenged Good Branson. Branson. They both went down. Lemieux challenged them. Good Branson said, okay, he throws down his gloves and his stick. And Lemieux just skated away. It's a penalty. It's going to be a penalty against Good Branson. When they get one to Lemieux, I guess yeah, they are. He's being escorted to the penalty box. Okay, good. Branson is heading out because I think they're going to add a misconduct to his. I'm not. I'm not sure why Lemieux is getting one here, because they they both they both went down to the ice in front of the goaltender, and as they and as they as they as they turned around, the play was going up the ice. And you see right in front of the net. There's the chance, and you, you see Lemieux go down. Good. Branson go down as they go out. They chop each other. Lemieux challenges him right there. Challenges him, and then Gabrens says, "Okay, Lemieux says, okay, that's a minor penalty on you." Here, here's a look at again right after that was kind of incidental contact, and Lemieux just kind of gets tripped down, and nothing was called there. You see the referee, nothing was called, and he says, "Okay, come on." Good <laughs> Branson thinks he's in the, he's getting ready for a. Heavyweight fight, and then he goes to the bench and watch what he does with the stick. Breaks both. his stick, so he ends up with a 10-minute misconduct. Now, both players get two minutes each for unsportsmanlike conduct, and Good Branson gets a 10-minute misconduct. 39 seconds remaining. I think you're right, Dave. Not even an attempt for Jones to go to the net. Just a, a team that threw everything at the net at the end. Great blocks, great plays by the Avalanche. Shut it down. Jones was solid in this game as well, too. But his team comes up short here. Down 3 nothing with 39.1 seconds on the clock. And Philip Grubauer with some terrific saves throughout, and especially at the end.